channel. Today we have a new model, which is the vintage car. So I have a question for you guys. Do you know what a vintage car is? A vintage car is a car that is manufactured during the time period from 1919 to 1930. Often vintage cars are old and not that sophisticated as modern ones, but people still love them for their rarity and beauty. Today we will be replicating a vintage car that fully functions. Without further ado, let's start building.
the car, the vintage car, and now on the count of three, let's plug the battery in and see it go. Three, two, one, go! Wow! The car is just so fast. Just look at the wheels go. Do you see how the wheels turn and make the car go forward without having to push it? The mechanism that it is using is called chain transmission. Chain transmission is a type of mechanical power transmission system that uses chains to transfer power from one place, one place to another. A conventional chain drive consists of two or more sprockets or gears and the chain itself. The holes in the chain link to fit over the sprocket teeth. Chain transmission is used to transfer the torque from the engine, here, the motor, to the wheels of a vehicle, particularly bicycles and motorcycles. In this model, you see that there are two gears, gear A, which is here at the motor, and gear B, which is the wheel. Since gear B, which is the wheel, is connected to the chain and the chain is connected to gear A. Every movement that gear A makes, the chain will copy it and spins gear B. As a result, it moves forward the car. Without the chain, gear A will spin, but gear B will not spin. As a result, the wheels will not turn and the car will be stationary. But some of you might be wondering, what if I replace the chain using a rubber band. What will happen? In our case, we use a chain to link the gears, which is more effective than a rubber band, as when we use one, the friction will wear the rubber band out, resulting in the band breaking. Whereas, the chain has slots for the gear's teeth to fit in, which makes gripping better, and the gear, the chain, is rigid and cannot be breaking. So here are all the parts you need. Starting off, we have a motor. You need one motor. Then we have a battery housing. You need one. Getting onto the pieces, this is a pin connector. You need two pieces. This is a 1x2 axle. You will need one piece. This is a 24 gear. It has 24 teeth. You will need three of these pieces. This is a axle pin you will need five of these. This is a pin without friction. You will need six. You will need six of these. This is a long pin. You will need two of these. This is a chain. You will need one strip of chain. This is a tire. You will need four tires. This is a 1x10 axle. You will need one of the pieces. This is a 2x6 plate. You will need 4 pieces. This is a 2x4 brick. You will need a piece. This is a wheel. You will need 7 wheels. This is a 1x4 brick with holes in it 
or a tech brick. You will need 12 of these pieces. This is a 1x4 plate. You will need two of these plates. This is a 1x3 plate. You will need four of these plates. This is a hinge brick. As you can see, you can slide the hinge down and up. You will need two of these pieces. This is a 1x6 plate. You will need four of these plates. This is a 1x12 tech brick with holes in it. You will need two pieces. This is a 1x2 tech brick. You will need 12 of these pieces. This is a round 2x4. You will need two of these pieces is a 6x8 plate. You will need a piece. This is a inverted 1x3 slope. You will need four of pieces, four of these pieces. This is a 1x3 slope. You will need four of these pieces. This is a 1x6 tech brick. You will need four three piece. This is a 2x4 plate with holes in it. You will need three pieces. This is a curved slope that is 1x6. You will need two pieces. is a 1x2 slope. You will need two pieces. Last but not least, this is a 1x2 inverted slope. You will need four pieces. Overall, I hope you enjoyed today's video about the vintage car. So next week's model is the Robot Rabbit. I wonder what things, what theory will I learn from this model? If you would like to learn more about the Robot Rabbit, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!